A social justice group is putting the spotlight back on a missing woman, Ella Goody. The 33-year-old was last seen March 9th of this year. Her family says she was driving a ride-sharing passenger to Houston. The next week, the 36-year-old Brandon Francisco was named as a person of interest, believed to be the last person in contact with Goody. On March 25th, he was arrested on unrelated charges. However, in May, Louisiana State Police said they were investigating Goody's disappearance as a homicide. Since then, there has been no new information released. News 10's Britt LaFaso spoke with a local social justice organization about why they think she's still missing. Britt. Hey, Darla. Well, Ellie's, Ella's 34th birthday was this week. Her family hopes she will be back home celebrating with them instead. Tomorrow will mark six months since they last saw her. How do you celebrate a birthday of a person you haven't seen in six months without them? You can't talk to them. You don't know where they are. You can't go to a, a headstone or a grave. You don't even know if there is if there if there is one to be prepared. Devon Norman, president of the Village 337, says he questions why Ella's family still has no answers. I think that it's apparent that when somebody who is not a person of color dies in this community or goes missing, um, or is you know vanishes out of nowhere, and there's a person of interest, there's so much work to be done to make sure that we find out who it is and that that person is put to justice. That doesn't happen for us. He says if Ella was not black, things would be different. I think the world would have responded differently if Ella was white. And if people had not seen her face, I wonder how much quicker they would have been ready to respond. In May, state police said they were now investigating Ella's disappearance as a homicide. With Brandon Francisco, the person of interest in her disappearance, still in custody. Her family hoped they would get answers, but they were wrong. And if there are answers, if he has spoken, how is it that the community does not know? It's no way. Not in 2022, not in this America. Norman believes Francisco holds the answers to Ella's whereabouts. While state police tell us they cannot release any more information on the case, Norman questions why. If you're in the profession of protecting and serving people, I'm not saying anybody is doing their job wrong, but maybe there's more that can be done. And I think transparency is key. If there's nothing, assure the public. As for Francisco, Norman has one message for him. May God have mercy on your soul. May God have mercy on your soul. Francisco is scheduled to go to trial in Rapides Parish in October for unrelated attempted second-degree murder charges from 2018. This week, the Louisiana Supreme Court also ruled that the prosecuting attorneys could not present evidence from a prior attempted murder charge in which he pled guilty to stabbing his ex-girlfriend nearly 20 times.